Go. Okay, well, welcome to the Pick Circle, and tonight we're going to talk about Doc's guitar, and the theme is bluegrass, so perhaps people will be able to do some bluegrass. Doc's guitar is a, is a fast finger-picking classic that, that I'll just play you. Uh, I'm going to turn on a metronome so we can, so you'll actually know how fast I'm going to play it. I'm going to play it at 80 beats per minute. <laughs> Charles? Yes, I was kind of waiting for maybe, I thought we'd go through the lineup once. Okay. And then sort of at the end of that, then I'll, then I'll do the workshop. I, I should tell everyone else that um, Bebian plays freight train better than I do, and I was doing a oh. workshop on it. <laughs> so now I'm worried about what she's going to do after I show you what, uh, what Doc's guitar looks like. But there's a reason why people, uh, even good people, should, should play Doc's guitar, because it's a marvelous technical exercise. What's going on there is actually much simpler than it looks. And I'll take you through it fairly quickly. Um, the, but it, it's good to play this sort of thing with a metronome. And it's good to play it probably at around 60 beats a minute. But here's what's going on. If we hold a C chord and we, and we just hold our fingers on the strings with our index, middle, and annular on the three bottom strings, we can get a right hand pattern going as thumb, middle, thumb, index. So it just goes one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And then with the left hand, we've got four chords that we need to do, which is C, A minor, F, and G. If we put those two together, it, it sounds like this. C, A minor, F, G. And anybody who can do an F chord will probably learn it pretty quickly if they practice this a bit. So that's the A part. This is an A part, a B part, and a C part, like a lot of stuff. The B part is actually the hard part of Doc's guitar, and it's it's a C chord. So it's a C pull off from the G to the E. And then it goes to an F chord. G7. So that's the B part. So I'll go through the A part again. series of seventh chords that starts with E, E7, A minor, A minor 7, D7, D7, 
Jesus to G, G7, and back to the A part. about all there is to Doc's guitar, except that Doc plays it at 160 beats a minute, and I've been playing it at about 40. So you've got some work to do if you want to get it to full speed. <laughs> it's worth listening to on YouTube, and it's a tremendous exercise for the left hand if you want to learn chord changes. Charles, <clears throat> may I just ask, um, so when you're doing the, that picking pattern, right. is it that? It's like the... Thumb, middle, thumb, index. Okay. Like that? Yep. That's it. What's that bit? Where's the bend? Is it the is it on the G string, like on the B flat? Or it's the it's the D note on the second string? It's a D note. Okay. G string on the third fret. There you go, yep, that's it. And then you're doing B flat to the the B string open. Yeah. Okay. I don't even think I've I don't think I've heard that piece before. If you listen to it by with by Doc Watson on YouTube, it's 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 quite amazing at the speed he plays it. It's just like uh, it would it would sound like somebody recorded it and speeded it up, except that I've heard him do it live where he just kind of goes out and does it and the man is amazing. Well thank you for breaking it down for us. Oh you're welcome. It's it's just, I think for beginners, it's a tremendous exercise. It's something I dug out because Stu, Stu Bourne was, was doing uh, the Southbound last time we met. Oh, okay. And then he did, uh, he did Buck Dancer's Choice, and those are a couple of things I know a little. I might do one of those one of these days, but see, Stu kind of got me back to Doc's guitar. I thought it was fun. Oh, that's great. I'm going to write it down like Doc's. Doc's. Yeah, it's D-O-C, yeah, Doc's. Doc Watson is the guy who did this.